Okay. My first question to this this atheist right here, which is called Schizophrenic Queen, is if 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 we here came from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? Well, considering you can have a Chihuahua and a Great Dane, it doesn't seem that unlikely to me. But, but why is there still monkeys? Well, why are there still Chihuahuas when there's Great Dane? I didn't come from no damn monkey. I'm not saying you did, because... Well, that's what you atheists think. You atheists think that, that we came from monkeys. No, we came from ape-like ancestors who were at least genetically different enough from monkeys that we could come out. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, then I got one for you. All right. All right. How can you explain that the universe is perfectly designed for life? If it's perfectly designed for life, then why can't we breathe in outer space? Oh, you see, you see, God, God done there put us on earth and, and gave us dominion over earth. Well, if the universe is designed to support us, I think it's perfectly reasonable to think that we would be able to breathe in outer space. Well, you see, you see, God, God done put us here so that we can have dominion over the earth. Y'all, so atheists... Y'all atheists just think that that we came out of nothing and that and that we're just here by by chance. Um I think magical sky daddy rolling dice would count as chance also. But but how can you deny that the creator created everything? Well what did he create us out of then? Uh, God, God done created us. Well, if God created the universe, and before the universe there was nothing, then what did God make us out of? See, God, God is God. God, God spoke the word, and the word was good. So we're extravagant pieces of literature? All hail God. Okay there, buddy. You got anything to say there, Mr. Headlice Chicken? No. No? I didn't kill him from... But I do have a question. Yeah? Is it that life was created to be put in the universe, or was the universe created and life just came about in the niche within the universe. So you're saying that that we that we came out of nothingness? That's what you atheists think. That's not what I said. See, like you need to make yourself more clearer because God done did it. And it was good. I'd be more prone to think I was created as a side effect to radioactive isotopes than some sort of mythical sky daddy who got like some mud and like was messing around one day and then poof there's a guy mutations are bad well you're then which is better chihuahuas are great dames you're saying that we came here by random chance and and mutations but mutations is bad. Chihuahuas and Great Dane food. I like St. Bernard's. Well, that's true. I mean, why are there so many different kinds of dogs? Because God made every animal after its own kind. Well, I'm pretty sure that Noah didn't have all that room on his ark for 50 million variations of dogs. You see, you see, like, through the inspiration from God, Noah created the ark. 
I'd, I'd believe it a little more if Noah created a spaceship with the help of aliens. Uh, are you are are you saying are you saying would that, <laughs> would that spaceship look like a DC ten only with rocket engines? I don't know, but but I do believe in aliens a little bit more than I believe in God. Well, a lot more. It's just that I think that they have better things to do than come visit us. Are you saying that we were not created by God? I'm pretty sure that's what I'm shooting for, Bob. But how can you 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 deny it? Like look around you, there is life. So how we get here? Molecules. Are you one of those people that believes that we made out of that that there stardust? Well, seeing as how I can look up at the sky both at daytime and at nighttime and verify that stars exist then I think it's more likely but what about God As why does there have to be God here at all because the Bible done says so well is the Bible the only supporting piece of the, like literature that you have for this we got the Bible and according to the Bible we're all highly complex compositions of literature thing is how God spoke some words and then we're here God done did it and it was good creationist one y'all atheists lost just like Shaka God said man you all cannot prove prove the madness of atheism is accurate and correct can use well you can't prove that your religion of choice is accurate and correct, Mr. Creationist. The Bible done says so. Six days. Well, there are many more science books out there than there are variations of the Bible. Only thing that we need is the Bible. Well, you try to cure cancer with that, and I'll, I'll show you more times in which chemotherapy is more effective. The Bible done says it's all part of God's plan. So God wants us to die of cancer? God loves you. God loves to kill me with cancer? God sent his son so that you can be free as seen. So God killed his own offspring just so he could adopt everybody on the planet? God loves you. I'd hate to be Jesus because I feel like he's more entitled to the, God, uh, the to the love of his sky daddy, who was actually his his mythological biological daddy too. And then guess what? Jesus didn't live to be all that old. You see, you see, see, like right now, right now, you you're there mixing it up. You see, see, Jesus was God and human. So God's suicidal. God, God incarnated himself in human form so, so that we die, we, right? So that makes him suicidal. So that we can be saved from our sins. So, so at best he's emo and at worst he's the suicidal baby guy. God loves you. Mr. Atheist Headless Chicken there. Y'all being quiet. God loves you. And we love you too, Dar. <laughs> <laughs>